What is up guys, it's me, Vicstar123, with some Team 1 sensitivity gameplay. Whoever suggested this, why? Why did you do this? The entire team had to play on 1 sensitivity, and you're seeing me go from 14 down to 1 sensitivity. Oh my god, I felt so sluggish. Um, and actually, I was pretty shaky to start off with on this gameplay. Well, I wouldn't even say shaky. I'm quite the opposite of shaky, I'm like, yeah, sluggish, slow. But uh, it took a little bit of time to get used to, but you can see kind of throughout the game I get more and more used to this slow sensitivity. Literally, we had to play pretty defensively. I don't know how people rush on low sensitivities. Look, can you see that? I could not turn fast enough to kill that guy. What an absolute nightmare. Just if people are close to you... It's just you can't turn 90 degrees to shoot them, it's horrible. And the uh, funny thing is that if you get stunned, it actually makes no difference because your sensitivity is so low already. It's like being constantly stunned without your screen messed up. So this is team one sensitivity, I just had to keep my distance with the assault rifle, just kind of set up and uh, it was just so much effort just to aim from one place to another. Look, look at this, I couldn't quite get my aimer on that guy at first. Look, I'm trying like that. But uh, I do get used to it towards the end, so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the gameplay. And what is up with me? Well, today I bought my first car, and I've not really told anyone what it is yet. I think I'm actually going to save that for a video, which I'll make sometime soon, if you guys would be interested in that. And I took it out for a drive, and it was, it was interesting, to uh, say the least. It's been... About three weeks since I passed my test, and I've not actually driven since then. And it's a new car, it feels different, you know, to the one I learnt to drive in. And I, I made quite a few mistakes, I'm not going to lie. Um, I stalled once. Um, I left the car in third gear and before um, I set off, and then set off in third gear up a hill. Not happening, car just choked out. And the thing that I realised instantly is because I don't have my L plates, my learner plates, on my car anymore... People, it's it's so much more stressful driving because no one, you know, when I had my L place, I didn't realise everyone was leaving me loads of room, you know, he's stalled, he's, he's you know, hesitating for a while around that, it's fine, he's a learner. But now, it's just like, what the heck is this guy doing? Why have you stopped? Go, go, just people, like, I think three people honked their horn at me, and I'm just like, leave me alone, I'm, it's literally like relearning over again because there's a whole new feel to it, so I have to get used to that not driven for quite a bit of time. I just kind of forgot a few of the rules. It's kind of scary that I've actually passed my test. And uh, um, I was actually, I went out with uh, my dad, which I'm really glad I did because he was kind of telling me what to do <laughs> half the time. So I think I'm going to have to go driving a few more times with my parents before uh, they let me loose on my own on the roads. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just interesting the way that um, kind of on my driving test, as I told you guys before, I feel like I fluked it a tiny bit. I took it kind of, um, basically I rushed to get it done because I wanted it out of the way before, you know, my big final exams, which are coming up soon. So I thought, right, I'm going to take it now. I'm either going to fail it and retake it in the summer, or I'm going to, by some, um, by some miracle, pass. And that actually did pass very, very slightly, but I still feel there is a little bit more learning that can be done. There's a pass plus thing which I can do, which is where you go with an instructor and basically it's a little qualification where they just teach you some a little more advanced driving, which I think I am going to have to do, but I can't really do that just yet because obviously got these big exams coming up soon. I can't wait till they're over. I'm just going to go in on uh, YouTube, you know, so much um, new stuff I want to try out with uh, what I'm doing on here with the awesome support of you guys. I mean, it is really going to be just an interesting time. I'll just have more time to put into videos. You know, I already put a fair bit of time into videos, and even when I'm not making them, I'm constantly thinking them through. So we'll see how that all goes, and that is just about that summed up. Let's, let's see what's going on in the gameplay right here. So as you can see, I'm pretty much having to hold down this house here simply because, and look at this, I can, I can, I could practically not keep up with that guy on the MG. Look how slow it is. It's horrific. I basically had to use the UAV a lot. I mean, again, this is another thing that encourages you to use the UAV more because it kind of slows down my playstyle, less aggressive. Like, I've spotted these guys in here. You know, if I was on 14 sensitivity, I probably would have been running towards that door. And uh, same again here, I'd probably be running towards that door. But actually, because... I'm on the low sensitivity and rushing is not going to work. I wait for people to come to me. So, so maybe I should do this more often. Maybe this is something I should um, add into my playstyle just to make myself a little more cautious. 
because the kill death ratio is fairly decent here considering I was getting used to the way I was aiming again here I think this is one of those situations where I'm like I start shooting and I just drag it over like this guy here <laughs> there was just no way I'd be able to keep up with a target at that distance I mean at really long range maybe a three or a four would be ideal but the one I just I can't see any conceivable way it would be worth doing and major props to Bucko here sniping on one sensitivity I don't know how he did it I really don't look at this it just looks horrible but anyway that is it for the gameplay and the video guys I do hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to leave a like rating feel free to guess what car I got in the comment section and also let me know what other challenges you would like to see us attempt this outro will take you to other team random weapon episodes if you would like to check those out feel free